Coming up on this edition of Carolina Insider, popcorn, corn dogs, and elephant ears were sold drive through style. Find out just how many cars went through last week's Spring Fair food event. Have a great day. Also, see why there are still issues preventing some people from receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. The push is to increase supply as much as we can. But first, Nikki Haley's plans for the 2024 presidential election are revealed. Carolina Insider starts now. Hello, and thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Santos. Our top story today, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley is making headlines this week, announcing she will not run for president if Donald Trump decides to run. Folks took to Twitter to express their anger and frustration with Haley's comments, which occurred at a press conference at South Carolina State University on Tuesday. She worked under the former president as the United Nations ambassador until 2018 and said she appreciated their working relationship. I would not run if President Trump and I would talk to him about it. You know, that's something that we'll have a conversation about at some point if that decision is something that has to be made. Haley's statements come as a surprise to many, considering she recently condemned Trump's actions during the Capitol insurrection. A problem with one of the nation's approved vaccines could affect you and your upcoming vaccine appointment. Here with an update on that and more vaccine news in the buzz is Jalen Thomas. Jalen? Thanks, Daniel. This week, the FDA and CDC call for a pause in administering the Johnson & Johnson shot after six women developed blood clots a few weeks after receiving the vaccine. One died and another's in critical condition. That's impacting vaccine distribution here in Columbia. The USC Student Health Center was offering J&J &J as an option, but is pausing its use on campus university. University spokesperson Jeff Stenslin tells Carolina Insider that there will be enough of the other vaccines to meet student and faculty demand. The South Carolina Health Department has also halted Johnson & Johnson, and so has that federal mass vaccination site at the Columbia Place Mall, which opened this week. You can schedule an appointment there by going to vams.cdc.gov forward slash vaccine portal. This site will offer both walk-in and drive-through appointments for the other two approved vaccines. That's it for this week edition of The Buzz. Back to you, Daniel. Thanks, Jalen. In other vaccine news, the number of fully vaccinated adults is on the rise. But as Olivia Brown reports, for some finding an appointment can be a hassle. Opportunity for the vaccine has not meant easy access to the vaccine. South Carolina DHEC health physician Dr. Jonathan Kanuka says that the distribution of the vaccine across the state has exceeded one million doses and the demand is higher than expected. The push is to increase supply as much as we can. Right now, there's more demand than there is supply. DHEC updates the available appointments daily on their map. However, there seems to be just as many filled appointments as there are open. Professor at the University of South Carolina, Dr. Laura Smith, had slight frustrations about trying to find an appointment to get the vaccine at the University Health Center. Um, I understand students might want it, but I didn't understand why I couldn't get that at 6.30 in the morning on uh, a day that we were trying to register for it. So I had to go off campus to find it. And she eventually found that appointment with Prisma Health Center in Columbia. They just began giving vaccination doses through a drive through at Gamecock Park. Kenica further expressed the importance of getting those who are eligible to get the vaccine to collaborate when they have the chance to get one. If we want to you know, beat this and try and get ahead of this and get our lives back to normal, it's going to require a large proportion of the population to take the vaccine. But for some South Carolina residents, finding a vaccine location just isn't a high priority problem if they aren't planning on getting one. If I don't feel comfortable with it not being, with it still being experimental, I sure as I won't let my children take it. For Carolina Insider, I'm Olivia Brown. Just up the road from Gamecock Park's vaccination site was a different sort of drive up event and organizers say it was a success. The state fair held a drive through food fair last week. Vendors served up popular delicacies from corn dogs to elephant ears. New figures show 15,000 cars rolled through during the six day event. The fair's general manager says they're hoping to hold the annual state fair in person this October. If you're looking for something fun to do this weekend, Artista Vista is coming back to Columbia. They're getting the galleries all ready and cleaning up the streets for both in person and virtual art activities. You can head down there tomorrow night for a free art gallery crawl from 5 to 9. On Saturday, from 10 to 3, you can see live demonstrations from artists and see a lot of cool art for free. 
The weekend ends with the Free Craft Beer Fair. For the full list of events, check out the VISTA's website. That's it for this edition of Carolina Insider, a student production here in the Kennedy Greenhouse Studio in the School of Journalism and Mass Communications. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here next week.